Overlooking Kika Rabin, the square in central Tel Aviv where the late Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated, I feel the apartment shake from the sound of traffic and construction crews at work assembling tents, plastic chairs, wooden platforms, a metal scaffolding in preparation for one of a seemingly endless series of political rallies, fairs, festivals, celebrations, and commemorations that take place on a weekly basis. This continual assembly and disassembly are the processes of a state under continual reconstruction. The myriad of groups that flow through this square are part of wider social, cultural, and political flows or escapes, as Apaderai refers to them, embodied in everyday mundane and routine practices within Israeli society. The political rally here, for instance, is a protest against the handling of the Lebanon War in 2006 after the release of the Winograd Report, finding fault with Prime Minister Ehud Olmert. The banner in the background says, Failure, in Hebrew, and reflects a widespread sense of frustration at the failure of the government over the broader political situation. And at this particular time, Olmert's approval rating had actually reached 0%. One image that epitomized this failure was Defense Minister Amir Peretz's inspection of troops on the Golan Heights through binoculars with the lens caps still on. In this presentation, I wish to take the lens caps off, so to speak, to examine the ways that the military and security situation in Israel are deeply woven into the fabric of the society. More specifically, I wish to examine the ways that the military is woven into popular culture, the high-tech industry, and a language learning classroom. In doing this work, I draw on and contribute to calls for locating composition in the context of globalization. In this area, scholars have increasingly focused on code switching, code mixing, and code meshing. In this research, I extend such work by taking up the term mashup from the Web 2.0 community to study what I refer to as code mashing, or the complex blending of multilingual and multimodal literacy practices across global context.